When replacing the battery on a vehicle with a battery energy management system, you must use the OE battery that has the BIM code sticker on it. If an aftermarket battery is installed, the life of the battery could be reduced or the vehicle could experience electrical issues that cannot be resolved. Here are some examples of the BIM code sticker. There are generally three pieces of information that you will need. The part number of the battery, the vendor code, and the serial number. Two things to point out. When you're typing in the information in VCDS, the letters should be typed out in uppercase. Also, there is a difference between the number zero and the letter O. Zeros will have a diagonal line in them, whereas the letter O does not. Do not get these mixed up or you will have a bad time. There are currently three versions of battery energy management. The original version is a standalone system, battery regulation, address 61. The other two are integrated into the CAN gateway module, address 19. With the CAN gateway, there is a non-UDS and the UDS version. To tell the difference between the non-UDS and UDS version, when you connect to the CAN gateway, on the open controller screen, look at the protocol. If it is the UDS type, then it will say UDS. First, let's do one with a separate battery energy management module at address 61. Click on select, followed by 61 battery regulation. From the open controller screen, click on coding 07. From the drop menu, select option number one and additional information will appear. Click on the battery coding button and yet another window pops open. From here, you can input the information from the BIM code sticker. Once the information is correct, click on OK, then click on the Do It button. You should get a coding accepted message. Click OK. Then click Close Controller Go Back 06 to exit out of the control module. If you wish to verify the coding of the battery, connect to the battery regulation module, go into coding, and from the drop menu, look at the information from option number one. You will find the stored battery part number, vendor code, and serial number. Now let's do a newer one with the battery energy management located in the non-UDS gateway. Click on select, followed by 19 CAN gateway. When the open controller screen loads, notice that the protocol is CAN. In this example, you will go into long adaptation, function 0 alpha. From the drop down menu, select battery information slash replacement. This will take you to channel 04. Information will populate in the fields and then VCDS will pop open a yellow information window with details on how to code the battery. The part number of the battery must be an 11 digit value. If your battery part number is 10 digits total, as it will be in this example, then you will need to do two spaces between the part number and the vendor code. Close out the yellow information window, then clear out the data in the new value field. Type out the battery part number. Again, in this example, the part number is 10 digits long, so there will be two spaces between the part number and the vendor code, then a single space between the vendor code and the serial number. Do not mix up the letter O and the number zero. Click Test. The information will now appear in the test value window. Click on Save and then confirm yes. You can click on the read button again and verify the stored data is correct. Click on done, go back, then close controller, go back, 06. And last, we'll do one with the battery energy management in a UDS gateway. Click on select, followed by 19 CAN gateway. When the open controller screen loads, notice the protocol is UDS. Go to Adaptation 10. 
Click on the drop down menu to list the channels. There are three channels we will need to work with. One, battery adaptation size. Two, battery adaptation manufacturer. Three, battery adaptation serial number. Note that there are also listings for battery adaptation two. These are not used for vehicles with a single battery. Select one, battery adaptation size. This information will not be on the BIM code sticker, but somewhere on the battery. If the stored value does not match the information on the battery, then from the new drop-down menu, select the correct value, then click on the Do It button, confirm yes. Click OK and verify the stored value now matches the information on the battery. From the channel drop-down menu, now select 2, Battery Adaptation, Manufacture. The vendor code will be listed on the BIM code sticker. If the information in the stored value does not match, then from the New Value drop-down menu, select the correct value. Click on Do It, Confirm Yes. Click on OK and verify the stored value now matches the information on the BIM code sticker. From the Channel drop-down menu, now select 3, Battery Adaptation, Serial Number. In the New Value field, type out the serial number as shown on the BIM code sticker. Click on Do It and then confirm Yes. Click on OK and then confirm the stored value now matches the information on the BIM code sticker. Click on Go Back, then Close Controller Go Back 06.